Castlevania 2, Bellman's Revenge for the Nintendo Game Boy. I checked out the first one, The Castlevania Adventure. So I figured I'd check this one out and see what they uh, improved upon. So, starts out with a stage select. Hmm. That's new for uh, Castlevania. Now let's see if they got him moving a little faster this time around. Well, I think he's moving a little better. And I think in the first one also there weren't extra weapons, secondary weapons, so... Let's see. And when you get hit you don't lose your whip upgrade. That's an improvement. That's a, a huge improvement. Not being sarcastic whatsoever. I think I better just keep my ass moving along here. This damn bird, you gotta be kidding me. I hate I hate freaking flying enemies in games. Okay, so I can whip. So they got vines again in this one. Alright, there's... I don't need it. Not that interested in that flashing axe. So yeah, it looks like the secondary weapons are back. It looks nice and a little flame off my whip. And the vines are back. So all the other ones use stairs and the Game Boy versions just had to go with vines. There we go, my holy water. That works as uh, expected to. Which is good. I think I'll keep on I'll hold on to that. So yeah, this one, uh, it's got a stage select thing, so I'm not sure if that works like a Mega Man game would, where, you know, you gotta beat the levels in whatever order, and then, and then, uh, hit, hit a final level or something, uh, it might be something like that, which is, uh, you know, a little different for Castlevania, but, again, when you're playing on the Game Boy, you can't do a whole lot of complaining if a game's at least... And this is pretty decent quality. I'm not minding this at all. <clears throat> now, in comparison to the NES games, this might be a little slower paced, but... It's not that bad. It really isn't, because I'm not, I'm not noticing it at the moment so harshly, I guess. For a Game Boy, man, this, this works out. Looks out all right. Eyeballs return. Oh, come on. Oh, let's see how slow he... Oh, wow. I'm glad I figured that out just now. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Dropping down a screen, aren't I? So you hold A, you slide down faster, which is quite helpful. Going back to my weenie whip. Alright, I see. Let's keep moving. Sliding. Oh! How far am I supposed to go down here? Oh my. Look what I'm doing to myself. Well, that's not the right way, was it? Yeah. Reset. I'm going to try another level. Real quick before I end it here. So... You know, some of the Game Boy games had a stage select system where... Say this was level one, two, three, and four. If you were to play the last level, I, I'm probably completely wrong on order here. I'm just, as an example, um, if you were to start on stage four, you just move on to, to stage five afterwards. You didn't have to pass all the levels. So there's a possibility this game does that. Um, I'm, I'm not all that up on it. Or it could uh, just be you have to pass every level. 
and then uh, game over. Or end of, you know, last level, then game over, so. Not, not positive. So yeah, just another stage here. Feels like Castlevania, plays like Castlevania. They brought back the secondary weapons, so. So I'm happy with it. That's what the so. That's what so is for. But Belmont's Revenge, Castlevania 2, for the Nintendo Game Boy. And I think it's going to be about about my uh, play, my, my quick look here. Yeah. All right. Well, Captain Good Night. Catch you guys soon. Really appreciate you watching. And I'll probably be throwing up some more videos here. Catch you later, guys.